Hi there everyone, my name's Nikki, I'm an electrical apprentice. I created this board to help me with my fault finding part of uh, my electrical capstone exam and I thought I'd make a video to help you guys as well. So I'm going to break them down into little videos. This is the first one, it's going to be an earthing continuity. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure your board's isolated with these fault boards, they're not wired up. Um, I'm not going to do a visual um, fault find on this because there's heaps on here. Um, go straight into earth continuity. So the first thing we need to do is actually test for the main earth conductor, okay? And for this exam, they'll, they actually want you to test the main earth conductor so it needs to come out of the earth bar. While you've got your screwdriver here, remove your MEN, okay? Because you don't want your neutral conductors to be mixed in with your resistance of your earthing. And also, you want to take out your earth conductor to any um, hot water systems. Okay, because it's going to be linked to potential bonding, and it, you don't want to you don't want to mix up your um, your earthing with any other parallel parts that you might have elsewhere. Okay, so you need to remove the earth from your hot water system. Okay, so we'll do that now while I've got the screwdriver out. Okay, you're about to start testing, so get your meter out. On the day, you should have testers in in the classroom. Okay, to calibrate your unit. Uh, they'll want to see that, so you might need to write it down. You want to be checking it on one or three ohms, okay, if it's there. Um, because we're not we're not on mega ohms at this stage. All these resistances have got to be at less than one ohm, okay, so you want to make sure it's reading really well. Okay, turn it on. Zero it out. Okay, and you're going from the very tip of that main earth conductor to your actual earth state. Now I've got 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 ohms. So when I write this down, I'm going to write down that, that my value was 0 0.10 ohms, okay? Because the test actually needs to have their values to two decimal places, okay? Um, the, it, just look at the bit of paper. It might actually ask you what the expected values are. So for your main earth stake, it's going to be less than 0 0.50 ohms, okay? We got 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 ohms, totally fine. Now, the trick is with your, your main stake is you actually have to test from the main stake, not the earth conductor on that terminal on attached to it. It's the earth stake. Now, sometimes earth stakes have, um, you know, still plates sitting on top, so you're not going to get contact with earth stake there. Um, go from the side, get a good scratch if you have to. Make sure you've got good contact. Okay, and this is the point where you need to put that main earth conductor back into your earth bar terminal. And I like to test it from there. Okay, next test is your equipotential bonding. Okay. Probably may not be able to see this little makeshift pipe I put in there. Mm, it's pretty dodgy. Anyway, we've got a reading there. 0 0.2. So again, I'm going to be writing 0 0.20 ohms for that. It's less than 0 0.5 ohms, which is what your earth stake and main conductor needs to be, and your equipotential potential bond. You'd also be doing your switchboard if you have a switchboard there, if it's bonding to the switchboard or any other steel work, that's when you need to be getting 0 0.5 ohms, okay? Now, the next values are going to be all your earthing, okay, for your um, all your other accessories, okay, your potential earthing. Now, these are going to vary, all right, and it depends on the size of your cable, the rating of your circuit breaker, and the type that it is, and this is where you need to refer to table 3.2. Okay, so if you've got a 32 amp submain with 4 mil coming off it, the actual maximum uh, resistance is 0 0.38 ohms. So if you get a reading of 0 0.4, it, it's not cool. It's not going to pass. That's a fail. Okay, if you have 10 amp lighting circuit on 1.5 mil and on a type C breaker, the maximum resistance there is 1.0 ohms. So if you get 0 0.9 ohms on that reading, it's not a fault either, it's still a pass, okay? Always zero out. 
And this test is pretty simple. Like all you're doing is going from earth to earth and making sure that you have a connection there. If you go to, you know, uh, your three point PowerPoint and you put, pop it in your earth pen and you've got no contact there and no reading at all, well, you know that your earth's not connected. Okay. And it's at that point where you can go, I'll just check L1, L2, L3 or, or neutral if it, there's a neutral there and make a note of it for when you go and do your polarity tests, okay? So, how do we test all the others? Make sure our MEN is out. Pop them into each earth, okay, of each accessory. All right, now, the double power point, you know, is the integral switch. It's supposed to be the same. They haven't done anything crazy. They're not gonna, like, have some sort of trick system in there where there is actually separated power points. It's not that hard, okay? You only need to test the one power point. Well, I've got a reading of 0 0.1. So I'm gonna write down 0 0.10 ohms. 0 0.1, which is all good. So on a for power, you're a 20 amp C breaker, 2.5 mil. You're looking at less than half an ohm for that, okay? So they are all passed. Zero point one, so she's all good. And again, earth, I go from the earth conductor um, light terminal on the earth bar, and I'll go to every single earth pin on my lighting. Okay, make sure that you've got continuity. You have actually got a reading. If you've got a reading, it means it's connected, okay? That's all my lights. All my lights are under 0 0.1. My sub main, I've got 0 0.3 there, okay? I'll make sure, again, just check it. Yep, 0.3, so I'll write 0 0.30 ohms. And to my hot water system, it's my last one. And I'll have 0 0.2, okay? So that's earth continuity. It's not as hard as what you think, and that's it. Uh, if you've got any questions, pop them below, but just remember I'm only an apprentice just like you. Um, I've sat my capstone. I found it relatively um, easy, but not a lot of people do. Uh, but I know that it is really hard to get good resources. Um, and if you've got somebody who's really good at explaining stuff, it really helps, okay? Um, but good luck, all right? I'll see you in the next video.